What is up, a bunch of savages? And those of you who are not savages yet, and to become a savage, you just hit that subscribe button. It is free this week. Okay, it's free all the time. But I'm going to Safe Fair of Texas on the first day of operations of year 2022, and I'm going to show you how to get the real fair. This is the biggest, the greatest fair in all of the states, and I'm going to show you how to do the real thing. Most people just think of it as just the rides and food. There's so much more to the fair. Come with me, and I'll show you. $20 to park, $40 for valet. Now I'll just do pay the $20. I'll just walk. <laughs> all right, y'all, I finally got parked. Got all my stuff in my backpack there. Making my way out. Let's get in there, y'all. Man, this is nice. Helicopters are already showing off the crowds. Looks like they put the automobile show outside. But they didn't. That's just the parking lot. I'm stupid. Oh, wow. I got to get in that line. I don't even know where it ends. A lot of people here. Let's find the end of the line. Found it. We got all that way to go. Okay, I'm finally in. Now, right here, if as you're coming in, if you, uh, after you get past security, get your bags checked and go through the metal detector, there is a li another line where you have to buy your tickets. If you've already got your ticket, just go right between the lines and go to the entrance. Let's go to information and see if they have opening day pen. Yeah. So let's get a map. And do we have opening day pins today? Oh, yes, please. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. First day pin, baby. Opening day. Yay. I've got made some coupons already from last season. And they're, uh, they're always good, so bring them back. All right, I got my opening day pin on right there, y'all. Speaking of opening day, uh, any other day I would come through here and I would go, I'll see this, I'll stop this, just like that. They've got the uh, these guys that do the BMX bikes and that kind of thing, the Extreme Sports Zone, the Stunt Jam, Texas Stunt Jam. But today being opening day, at noon there is an opening day parade, which only happens on this, this day. They do an opening, they do uh, an every night parade at 7.30 or whatever, but for opening day there's one. So let's get over near Big Tex and uh, Hall of State building. I'm gonna show you what I see along the way, okay? I'll look at this show later. Might not even see it today, but definitely gonna see it at some point. It's a good show. But let's let's roll and see what we can see. Maybe grab a little something to eat on the way. You pass by all these booths where you can either buy stuff or sample. This is going to be sampling sampling some coffee there. Here you can do the uh, free ride and drive thing. You can get in Chevy vehicles and drive them around. You can even drive a Corvette. Check out this Chevy truck, man. What is it? Interesting. Very interesting, that's for sure. This thing here is going up this tower. It is the tallest ride in the world. 500 feet tall. It's called the Top of Texas Tower. We got funnel cakes and turkey legs right there. Made by Granny, by the way. Oh, they got to be the best. There's a shopping tent right there. I may or may not come to look at, but uh, there's just so much. I don't know how much if I'm going to be able to get everything in in the first day, but I'm definitely going to try. Stay fair taffy. We usually grab some of that on the way out. Those of you who have been following my vlog, you know that I've been doing keto and I've dropped about 20 pounds now. I looked a little not as fat. <laughs> I say sliver, but just not as fat. And, uh, but today I'm gonna blow it out. I know I am, and that's all right. Hey, big old cheat day, big old cheat day. <laughs> there is official merchandise, and I, since I got the uh, membership, what do you call it, the uh, the season pass, I've got a voucher that gets me a free tote. Let's see if they have any. So here's the voucher, and get you a free tote bag, and that's the tote bag right there. Cool, man. I can tote my stuff. Well, even though I've got a backpack, but. Cotton candy. I was looking at the 1962 version of State Fair, the movie, and uh, they were out. They filmed during the 1961 season, so got 61 years ago. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and instead of cotton candy, it said floss candy, and that's funny because that's the first time I'd seen that. Because it's weird. Whenever my wife and I got together, of course, you know she's from England. We compare what we call things, and I say cotton candy. She goes candy floss, and then I was like, what? I've never heard that before. But we apparently used to call it that, but floss candy. Weird. Before I uh, get some food and head more that way, we got to go inside here. This is the Creative Arts Building. I've got, I've got something. For those of you who've been following me, you know this. I've got something in here. I've got a, something on display that I put together that didn't win anything, but it did get honorable mention. So it's getting displayed, and it goes with my uh, my Six Flags stuff that I do. So. Let's get in here and I'll show you. All right, I may just stop looking at my face so I can show you this stuff. This is the thing that I have to see every year. I love just to see 
all the crafts and stuff and art. There's photos and there are uh, crocheted stuff. Dude, they got uh, all kinds of stuff. There's, you can get, I mean, people doing dioramas and all sorts. I mean, just like that right there. There's so much. There's so much here. You can just take a snapshot of that and just look yourself. You know, there's so much. The thing is, there's a whole building. It actually goes around to the other side there. This is also the building where the um, butter sculpture is. I didn't even look at you. But I had somebody who's here that messaged me and showed me a picture of my tower, which I've seen it before, but <laughs> they said that it's down from the butter. So it should be on this wall. We'll see. Well, I love the Christmas stuff because this time of year, of course, here comes, and then we get Halloween and then Christmas. The end of the year is the best, and this is sort of the beginning of it. So when I see all the, all the Christmas stuff, I'm like, you. The kid in me comes back out. I love, well, it never leaves, but uh, I love Christmas. All right, y'all see my tower? Oh, there it is, right there. That's me. Right there, my Six Flags Tower, y'all. Oh, that's my name right there. It doesn't say Savage Mister. There's my tower, right there, dude. And here's the whole Halloween window. Oh, I love it. It is Halloween time, y'all. Dude, Wolfman, Frankenstein. And this year's theme is that thing right there. It looks like somebody did it out of, I can't tell what it's made out of, but it looks like it might be a quilt. Let me zoom over there. That's awesome. I guess I can always go over there, but zooming will be better because I'll be under it. Some of this stuff is so cool. Christmas, dude. I'll hit turn to a shoe into a helicopter. Out of quotes. Shoe Belene. It's got a shoe and it's British. Oh my god, is that a Demogorgon boot? Look at that. That is crazy. Dude, that's really clever. And that would be a croc for Nile, right? <laughs> and there's a Pika shoe. That's clever. A pony dog flip flop. Oh my lord. That's nice. It's flat and delicious. Oh man, it's a cotton ball and Big Texas bowling. Ah, oh, that's epic. I love this kind of stuff. And more Halloween. Oh, they've done a pumpkin out of the Fletcher's corn dog. Like he's a corn dog. Oh, that's so epic. And there's a minion, a Texas minion. Oh, there's so much cool here, man. There's the up house. Look at that. Uh oh, dude fell over. I guess he finally died. But that's dressing up for Halloween. That is epic. Oh my gosh, so much good stuff. I could spend all the, oh, more Christmas. Okay, y'all, I'm going to have to move on. But come down for yourself and see this. It's so good. I could actually take a photo of each window and upload it somewhere if somebody wanted to see it. But wow, there's so much, so much. Well, I'm over here. Let's go see the butter sculpture, which is right there. I don't even know what it is this year. It's, it's Big Tex's 70th birthday this year. It's 70th on the birthday cake. Big Tex, there's Texas, and then some presents. Wow, that is so cool. There's the artist right there. That's epic. Very cool. Very cool, y'all. And that was that quilt. Actually, there's two of them. Wow. There's been two of them. Like three. This is the third one right here. Oh, I love these right here. They're made out of like cardboard or something. That is so cool. That's, that's a dog, super dog, and there's a horse and a chicken running the camera. Oh, they got the Midway Arch. Oh my gosh, there's so much talent. My gosh, now my, uh, no wonder my tower only got honorable mention. It, we couldn't win anything with all this talent that's over here. That's cool to see that Christmas tree close up with uh, Alamo in the background. That's fitting for me because I'm going to San Antonio tomorrow for the weekend. Let's see what we got. Somebody did a Lego thing. Pokemon thing back there, another Lego thing. Oh look, a Starry Night in Lego. Oh, that is clever. Somebody built a piano out of Lego? Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe not. Instead of going out on the road where the food booths are, I'm going to go through the Embarcadero just straight across here. This is Creative Arts, and then there's a common hallway, and then the Embarcadero over there. It's just loads of uh, wares being sold, much like here. People selling their stuff. And here's what the ceiling looks like. It's kind of a epic looking ceiling um there's one two three four kind of walkways down i'll just kind of go down the we'll go down this one over here you got your ginsu style knife you got some shades which i might be buying some because i've lost mine again bought them had them for a few days and lost them already dang it knowing me i left them somewhere and somebody else has them now 
You can buy jewelry over there. You can buy beds right here. Scents right there. Wallets and such right here. Sweep Smart, which I bought last year, and the wife doesn't like it. <laughs> I used it. It was all right. Here's one of these things you can come in here. I don't know if you have to pay, but they uh, it's like a massage chair type of video. All right. You can buy candy and nuts and all sorts and fudge. Oh, my gosh. I think my uh, ketosis just went away just by looking at that stuff. But how about this? Let's go out. I still haven't gotten any food yet. I'd have to get a Fletcher's on the way. I, actually, the nearest Fletcher's is that way, but I don't want to backtrack, so continue on. There's a Fletcher's over by Big Tex. All kinds of foods right there. You can get the ice cream on a stick with the nuts and chocolate. Tater Twister's here and the Hans Mueller sausage and turkey leg. Where they have the biggest bacon wrapped turkey leg you ever saw. Two of them actually, but they're not real. Right there and right there. <laughs> All right, there's a little Statue of Liberty right there. Just on the, oh, you're good. I'm sorry. No, you, you're part of it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> uh, just on this side of the Hollow State Building, and that's where they're going to, it's where they have been doing the um, ceremony, the opening day ceremony. There's a massive Chevy main stage with two big trucks on either side, or one big, one on either side. And they do, uh, Trace Atkins is playing tonight here for free. Well, cost you nothing extra. There's some more shopping there. Food, food, food. But let's go through Lone Star Boulevard and see if I can get a spot for if they're actually doing the ceremony. They always do, but I'm just kind of like, Ooh, where is it? Usually they do it right before the parade comes through. We'll see. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you know. But dude, can you feel that? The excitement, man. I mean, I'm at the fair. The fair is that. Oh, I love it. When I die, I'm gonna haunt this place because I love it. But even though it's only open three weeks out of the year, the rest of the year I'll haunt six like. But there's uh, egg rolls, candy apple, some fountains, some loud music that keeps cutting out. <laughs> Copyrighted, so I better talk over it. You can see those uh, fountains right there. I've never seen this before. Yes, I've seen fountains before, but I've not seen one of them empty. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Looks like they're trying to fill it up. <laughs> There's one pipe of water coming in. Dude, they're starting it. All right, I'm going to mention stuff as I see it. Now, I've said this before a million times, and I'm going to say it until everybody gets it. But if you want a foot dog on corn dog, go ahead and get it. But it will not be a Fletcher's. If you want a Fletcher's, you got to get Fletcher's. You know the reason why I know that it won't be a Fletcher's if it's foot long? Because Fletcher's simply does not do a foot long corn dog. They just don't. Now, I've talked about Fletcher's enough. I need to go get one. Actually, I want to try this pizza over here that I saw. Let's go check it out. Neapolitan pizza. Howdy. That rocks. <laughs> it's made of rocks. Speaking of howdy, there's the guy that it's his uh, catchphrase, dude. Big Tex, the tallest cowboy in the world, y'all. Heck yeah, bro. And this is Big Tex Circle, and this is where everybody wants to meet up. Hey, let's meet at Big Tech Circle. Do not meet at Big Tech Circle because everybody has the idea, and there's a million people here because of it. And here's this Texapolitan pizza. That's what they're calling it. Let's see how much it costs to get, and see how much you get for what it costs. Cheese to 20 coupons. That's $20. A whole pizza, though, right? Wow, don't they do it by the slice? I don't really want to do a whole pizza. I wonder how big the pizzas are as well. Pepperoni 24, margarita 22. Wow. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it started this year, introduced 2022 right there. But I don't think I'm ready to shell out $20 for a pizza. If the whole family was here, yeah, we might do it, but not just for myself, no way. Oh my God, they've even got fried green beans. Are you serious, bro? Okay, I was talking about floss candy earlier, which is cotton candy. And right here, it's the State Fair Cotton Candy introduced in 1972. Hmm, I was a year old, but I was telling you I was watching the 1962 version of State Fair, which was filmed in 1961, run of the State Fair of Texas, and they had that floss candy, and that was 61, that was more than 10 years before this, so they mean cotton candy overall or just State Fair cotton candy? I don't know. I got to find some food. It's probably going to be Fletcher's since the Fletcher's had the crazy line. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do since the Fletcher's line is so long. I'm going to get adventurous. I'm going to go inside the tower building, which is food court. It used to be called electric building. It used to say electric right along there. But let's go in there. There's loads of food places in there, and I can find something. It's like a planetarium, but they got some more of these massage chairs in here. The only booth where naps are encouraged. 
So here is the food court inside of the tower building. Meatball sub, such on stick, black eyed pea soup. My gosh, biscuit with all kinds of love. Holy biscuit! Wow, look at that. And this shows all the uh, from the years the most creative and the best taste for each year from 2005 to 2018. Pretty cool, and you can get coupons still inside here. There's Bacon Nation, there's Fruiteria, there's dude, there's so much, so much. Cinnamon rolls, Pedro's funnel cake. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Tony's taco shop, my stomach is growling, bro. <laughs> Chicken and waffles, tossed, hand tossed pizza. Dude, you can get some cheap milk over here as well. I think I found my play, Pedro's Tamales. I'm not sure if I've had these before. I did have some, they were a little spicy. They got tamale boat with two tamales with chili and cheese. Or a tamale supreme is two tamales with chili and cheese plus chips and salsa. I think I'll do the tamale boat. Yeah, oh my. Right. Ooh, I'm about to put that into my face right there. All right, now I've got to navigate my way out of here. Ooh, go back the same way I came in. Through the people napping my tamales and find a spot to watch the fair the parade let's go all right i found a spot to have time my tamales and chili over here on the bench with not much shade there's loads of other benches with people who are only sitting on the ones that have that are shaded mostly and there's big text right behind us sorry i mean behind big text back sorry dude i know you're on diet and if you're new here whenever i eat y'all gotta share that I don't have to shut up anymore. I think it backfired on me for me being so mean and telling y'all to shut up. This is spicy. Oh my lord. Good thing I bought a water. Oh my gosh, it ain't gonna be enough. All right, I got my spot. I'm not exactly in the shade as you can see. I'll have to keep my cap on, but I found a fella here that's got a trolley, so I thought, hey, I can put it right in front of him, and that way no kids will maybe sit there. So, so there's my camera, waiting for the parade to come by. Come on, come on. There's a helicopter up there peeping at us. He's peeping. Hi, Mom. Side of one of the uh, automobile buildings well the main automobile building but they have all the trucks and stuff out here holy mackerel that is the biggest cooler you have ever seen you know you're in texas when you see a cooler that big dang dang the ramonator quite large as you can see lots of cars car mates and stuff. It's like I'm going through Jeep right now. We'll sit in some cars. As a matter of fact, I might not do it today, but when the kids and the family, when the family comes along, the wife and she's definitely love to sit in all the cars. So I might save that for that day. And we're here at an entrance as well. It's like the main entrance that has the, um, the dark rail station out there. And we're on the back side of this, not looking toward Hall of State Building. People are actually exiting. Really? What the heck? Already? It's not even 1 p.m. Place has only been open three hours. I'll start stunt dog show and the thrilling pig races right here. Happy! 
All right, well, I'm sitting here waiting for the pig races to go on and have to talk over Tom T. Hall, it sounds like. Um, so usually I would go through, just like I've already started, and making notes of the times and circling the ones I want to go to, but they've actually made it easier for you by putting out this big thing. It's a timeline of the whole day. You can go through and go ping, 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 ping. Dude, that's what I'm going to do right now. Introduce you to a former racing star here at the pig races. I mean, he really run. He won a lot of races. He was racing at about 25 pounds was his prime weight when he was racing. Now then, he weighs in today at 1,025 pounds. Yeah, that's a lot of pig, isn't it? That pig needs that's keto. Phil Wilbur All right, I think I'll do some wandering in the Centennial Building. Check out the art on the way in. This art's been around since 1936. Wow. Cars! Let's go look for Prius. It's like we got Kias right here. Buick? Buick's still a thing? My gosh. Volkswagen. And some others. It's an interesting color, isn't it? And inside of here where they got Volkswagen, Nissan, right behind me there is a Tony's Taco shop that looks pretty cool. Massive uh, pinata that nobody's going to hit because it's way too high. Unless they give you a giant stick. Dude, looks pretty cool in here. Let me choose some drinky drinks. Yeah, that's what you're into. They've even got a little coupon booth in here. And I just got me some coupon, y'all. Now I'm ready in case it gets a little warm, but right now I'm inside of air conditioned, air conditioned uh, building, so put these away. That's my food, it's food money right there. Some lovely vans. I can look to uh, like getting a van to travel the country instead of getting a massive RV, right? This one here has a pop-up bed. Is that so you can stand up straight in there or something? Well, it's up here for like a bed. You can hang right. it across the top. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, it has a shower. Oh, there you go. Interior and exterior. No way. Let's have a look. Dude. I can imagine the shower with the sink right there. What did we go for? You can come over here and get a miniature, maybe find a miniature version of whatever car you drive. To get the perfect color, it might be a little bit tougher, but then they have loads of flags and signs and stuff to do with whatever vehicles you might be into. Loads of other signs over there. Dr. Pepper, old Dr. Pepper even. Wow. It's the Miyagi system. Clearly wax on, wax off. All right, I'm stupid. You can buy knives here, all sorts. Anyway, you get the idea. You can buy loads of things here. These are these are the things me and the wife are looking at. Every year we come look at them. I think they're a little bit too pricey for us, but it would be nice for the backyard. These cool swings. The double one as well. Maybe one of these days we'll get one. I don't know what the price is, but it can't be cheap. The price is not on it. Right? If you have to ask, you don't want to know. I'm going to go out this way because there is a tent over here to go shopping in. Let's go have a look. Right by the other Ferris wheel, the small Ferris wheel. And yes, that's the small one. That one's movable. The, one, the Texas Star, the big one, 212 feet tall or something. It's, it's permanent. Nana's needle. Oh, wow. I get the Nana shirt. These, these are all like... Nana's, there's Nana right there, and you can get it, Nana here, you get a bag or a shirt. I don't know the wife's size for shirts, but she's about to be a Nana, as well as I'm going to be a grandpa. My bonus, my oldest bonus son is, uh, yeah, and his wife, of course, they are, we haven't posted it anywhere, made a big deal about it, because they don't want it out there, but... 
this guy's art. It's this guy right here. I love to come and see this stuff every year. It's so stinking awesome. Look at it. It's like he works with charcoal and it's just like photorealistic, man. It's so stinking good. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Good stuff, bro. I'm always mesmerized by these blown glass things. Look at these little rainbows there. And these are so tiny. Look at them. Look at how little those are. So little. Apparently, they used to have a blown glass place at the state. At Six Flags, actually. It was pretty cool. That's a big old candy apple right there, y'all. Dang. You got the Skyway up there. They have the Skyway up there that is the... Uh, I lift that goes over, but right here they've got a porch where you can get drinky drinks and stuff like that. And here's the actual entrance to the Skyway. You get on and go across the gondolas. It costs ten dollars per person one way. You don't even come back. You go over and it drops you at the other station across the way. Wow! It's like they're not getting a lot of takers. There goes an empty one. Right here by one of the outlets of the food court that I was in earlier and loads of games over across that way kind of the beginning of the midway on one side anyway and over here first day is good because you can catch uh, the news stations doing their thing um, as you can see this is Cotton Bowl Plaza where they have music around the way here live music normally and uh, the lagoon is over there. You can do like paddle boats that look like uh, swans. I can show you that in a bit. Yeah, they got a live band over here. Right in front of the cotton ball. And then they've got food all across there, there, and some more down that way. I'll show you that in a bit. You get a cheesesteak place over there. There's another Fletcher's, official Fletcher's, which has a shorter line than the one over by Big Tex. Wow. That's the tamale place I'm used to is Roots. They're a little spicy too, but not near as spicy as that one that I just had. But uh, Jack's fries are really good. My dad was insane for Jack's fries. Every year I had to get some. But Catfish Floyd's does some really good catfish. I think, I think that's my next play is get some catfish. Yeah, yeah. I forgot how much catfish is. I think it's how many pieces. See how much it is. They got that strip right there just right, so you got to walk up and look under it. So annoying. Two piece for 11 coupons. When it comes with fries, I, that's my go. I'm taking it. All right, I gotta get my catfish. This was because of my dad as well. He would always get catfish and we would always come up and have some. And then it was like, oh my gosh, we would want more and more. So we ended up having to go back and get more. But he's not with us anymore, so this is for my dad. For me. Sorry, dad. <laughs> but anyway, so so yeah, I'm gonna go eat. Yes, I'm eating again because I'm at the fair. <laughs> Y'all gotta shut up again. Sorry. And while I'm over here, the Carnival Barker is doing his thing right there. I'm probably going to get a shot of him right now but because I'm eating, but that's him. I said that I wouldn't go into the Midway just yet. Well, I'm kind of in it, but not really. And really, the real entrance is there, as it says, Super Midway. And I miss the Carnival Barker. He's already shut, the, shut up. A lot of people while listening to him wish he would shut up. But anyway, I'm not going to go that way yet because that's kind of the way I came in. I'm going to head back, sort of backtrack, and try to catch some shows that I missed. But on the way there, I will go down by the lagoon and show you what's what. Here's the lagoon and the uh, Swan Lake, or what they call it, paddle boats. Yep, they had a bridge, a floating bridge that went across right at this very point for a couple years, but they took it back out. Weird. Anyway, there's the swans and the boats, and you can go do that for, I'm not sure, seven coupons, seven dollars each. By the Swan Lake, they got this souvenir bit. I remember this inflatable door right here. She's lost her mind one year because I wouldn't buy her that. Boy, she cried all the way out to the car. You got this Gulf Coast grill, which is all themed to the seaside or whatever. Pretty cool. Surf shop. A nice place over here you can sit and watch the boats as well. Pretty cool. Hey, they got the waterfall going. You can walk through that cave and actually get a little bit of waterfall. Nice uh, photo op. You just walk past the marijuana bamboo right here and you go through the cave. And there's your water. The backside of water. And you can get photos over here with these 
lovely young ladies on the rock or whatever. Or maybe you can't. That might not be a, uh, an exhibit. Sorry. Good thing we were on this side of the water, bro. It looks like they've got dinosaurs have invaded over there. Man, look at that. Dang. Had to get me a photo like that. Bye, T-Rex. That's a hot tub and swim spa sale. Oh, looks like it got a little too hot. That's some smokety smoke going up. What the heck? This row with you cowboy haters. That too. Look, look at this. I got a Texas with a blue bonnet. Blue bonnet's right in front so you can get your blue bonnet picture. Hee <laughs> hee. It's going to take all that she's got to make it up and over this monster jump. All right, red team. Let's get your girl line back up. Our rookie girl, Summer. She's in place. Come on, help her out. Get loud, red team! All the way across the arena. Let's see if we can pull it off our first try. You ready, girl? And go around. All the way down there. Does she got it? She's got it! Guys, let's make some noise for our rookie girl, Miss Queen Babe. And at the end of the night, you cannot miss the show here on the Esplanade. That's it right there. Illumination Sensation. Brought to you by Mattress Firm. And it's on the Esplanade. 8 o'clock every night of the fair. This is the uh, marionette show that they're doing. They have Nutella fried cheesecake. Oh my gosh, I bet that's delish. Oh, that sounds so awesome. That's what I said. DJ dance party over here, but nobody's dancing. And there's a pumpkin patch. Where's Linus? Is he hanging out in here waiting for the great pumpkin? This here thing, you can see them milking a cow with the electronic milker situation. You can see it right there. Well, note to self, edit that guy out. Okay. <laughs> He's waving in my, in my shot. I love it. Check it out. Dude, that's pretty cool. And there's a aquarium. With the crack, oh, they released the Kraken. Ah, oh my gosh. Hope it's not a crack in it because it looks like it's inflated. That's pretty cool. Cheese would love this, except especially when she was a kid, but she'd love it anyway. Water comes down. Do some panning for the stuff. And there's the, the grit and dirt that they get to sift through. That's pretty cool. So I'm looking for the chainsaw guy. I can hear him. He's over here somewhere. I hear him chainsawing. The Texas Chainsaw Master starts now. Oh. And here's some of the things he's done. Oh wow, he's got a Yoda. Like a gnome, a bear, an armadillo, a couple of owls, an eagle, a squirrel. Oh, look at that. from where the chainsaw guy's doing his thing. That tent over there is where they put the uh, floats. You can even see the Hella Shriner truck that they uh, play, have the band playing in at the end of each parade. And right there, there's a science place. One of the museums is flipping around. And we're on the side of the uh, Midway right there after all the action is happening. All right, whether you like it or not, we're gonna get some Midway time because we got to cut through, which is at this point where I'm at around the fair. It's kind of a shortcut through to go see Mighty Mike. You remember the Mighty Mike show? I'll show you a little snippet of it. 
Got like a beer garden there, some waffle fries and juices. Was that burgers and such? And there's the uh, Texas Star, very large. I think the uh, admission is very large as well. $12. Speaking of the top of Texas Tower, holy moly, that thing is up at the top, going around so you can get a view. I was coming out hoping to get the lit up. Hopefully the lights shine through that at night, but this midway arch is iconic and it lights up and lights and stuff. You can see that also in the 1962 version of the State Fair movie. And they got all kinds of goodies over here, man. Look at all that. Dang, they got grills. As far as I can see, man, look at that. Look at all them turkey legs. Oh my gosh, I ain't never seen how many turkey legs. There's a bunch of legless turkeys, turkeys trying to fly right now somewhere. There's a rodeo that starts at 6.30 p.m. and I've never seen it here. Might have to try to catch a bit of that, even if it's just a bit. Heading this way, passing by over here, you can actually see down on field level of the uh, cotton ball. Oh, I want to go to cotton ball and this guy ain't gonna let me go down there. My name is Rob. I came all the way from New York City. My name is Miss Jay. I came all the way from Ukraine. This is our dear friend Matt. He came all the way from right over there. Okay. All right. And Matt, anybody could have joined us, but you came here with such a great energy and a great smile. I don't want to leave you empty handed. Matt, you just earned yourself an official Tiger Baby button that says Ray. And now, guys, I don't want to leave you empty handed as well. After the show, we do have a free postcard. If you want to pick up a postcard, meet us. You look a bit nervous. Hey Siri, play me some circus music to get Matt in the circus mood. Here we go. It's on the hips, Matt. It's on the hips. All right, no, 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 no. It's a family show. It's a family show. All right. All right. No, it's easy. Hey Siri, let's rock and roll. Matt, catch the baby. Here we go. All right, help me out. All right, Matt, you got this. Don't drop the baby. Here we go. Let's go. That's my hat. That's, that's my face. That's my face. A money maker. Money maker. There we go. The three. Hi. Okay. All right. Ready? There we go. Remember how to juggle because that'd be pretty embarrassing if I forgot from last year. Oh man, we are in luck, folks. Looks like we're gonna be able to do the show because I still remember how to juggle. Now I will point something out, folks. That I am juggling three dice right now, and it is socially acceptable to clap for this. Oh, very spontaneous, amazing. Well, if you're guys are to clap, then I'll do better tricks. How about a double spin from the left? Oh yeah. yeah. That's Mighty Mike. He just did his thing right there. I'm going, um, I'm looking for the stunt show, the BMX stunt dudes. I know where that is, but on the way there, I'm going to see if I can see the Clydesdales. Okay, I went looking for the Clydesdales, but it turns out they don't start, they're not here until October the 6th. So, no Clydesdales today. Um, so keep rolling. I'm going to go uh, see the, uh, the stunt show. Let's go watch the BMX stunt show dudes. I forget what it's called. All right, as I was walking this way, but I'm gonna turn around because there's something that I want to show you. So as I was walking, you're just walking along and there's something. There's music here, there's music there. And even down here in this pumpkin patch thing, there's live music. Check it out. There's something going on everywhere, man. I just got a few more minutes until the uh, Texas stunt jam starts and I had to stop and get a woba. I'm parched, but hydrate. Yeah, Mike, twisting it up with the one foot and that's up, coming back around to the inside lane. No hands there, laying the bars in his lap, waving to the crowd. Coming back around with the no foot and Yeah, kicking the feet off the side. And he is not done ripping it up. He's got plenty of more coming for you. He's Coming around. Oh my goodness! Alley oop from the thicker rim. 
Look at that, so relaxed. One hand on the outside. Tail whipping it, coming back into the inside line. And 360 bar spin, busting the bars around super slow. I love the way he does that. And 360 <laughs> And Magic Mike Payne dropping it right here. Thank you guys so much for being an awesome crowd. The crowd is what makes the show. You guys made this an awesome one. It's always a good show, man. There's a dude right there. Signing autographs and taking photos and stuff. Pretty cool, man. But I just noticed they got some of uh, Big Tex's uh, older version of his um, boots right out there in the middle where people are driving the vehicles and stuff. So yeah, this looks familiar because I've been here before, but now I've got to, well, this is where I came in. Now I've got to trek straight through to get to the bird show. I've done so much backtracking to catch stuff at their times that I have more than got my steps in. So anything that I've eaten that's taken me out of ketosis will probably won't really hurt me <laughs> because I've walked so much. My feet are hollering at me, man, for real. All right, let's go to the bird show. Bird show is fun. There goes the top of Texas Tower again. I need to see how many coupons that is. Ten dollars to go up that—that's pretty good. Ten coupons. I'd do that just for the view. What is it with these young people right, driving trolleys? I'm over here trying not to drive one so I don't feel like I'm giving up. But man, these folks are like 21 or something. Dang. Look at this thing. I'm gonna send it up, and you're gonna see how freaking tall that thing is. It's not even all the way up yet either. Look at that. Holy macro, man. the midway and go to the band show there's a Fletcher's Corny Dog here official they've got switchbacks so the line won't be well at least the line won't stick out into traffic so let's see what's what so yeah I gotta get me a Fletcher's and they got switchbacks in here that's pretty good and I've said this before and some people agree with me uh, the original is not the same as when we grew up when I grew up anyway the bird dog has the flavor that I grew up with that I remember and it's a turkey uh, hot dog is what it is. The original is more like a sausage now. It's not even really a hot dog anymore. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but if you taste them, you'll realize, oh, yes, the bird dog is a flavor. It happened about, I don't know, over five years ago or better. Uh, I had the, the original. I'm like, wait, what's wrong? What's different? I even looked at the hot dog and it looked like a sausage. You know, a sausage has little bits or whatever. I went like another year or two as well. And then I finally tried bird dog. I'm like, yes, there's the flavor. So bird dog it is for me. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I like it. I was coming in, I was showing how they got switchbacks right there, but dude, they even got tables and chairs in here as well. It's all covered, for real, dang, it's all right. All right, I got my bird dog. It had been sitting there a while. Usually bird dog is good to order because they don't keep them, they don't keep them on hand particularly, so you gotta make them fresh, but this time they had one sitting out. And it's, wasn't, it's not really hot, but anyway, I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. So I'm gonna go eat this. Y'all get to shut up for a third time. You go, get ready for some more shut up. All right, here I go. Shut up. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Fletcher's claims to have invented the corny dog and right here at the state fair of texas back in i don't remember when but if i can find it i'll put it right here but there are others there are some other places that claim to have invented it as well somebody built one that was kind of the same thing but without the stick and they called it like a pronto pup or something i think that was coney island i'm not even sure but i'm gonna go with the state fair of texas because because everything is epic here so i'm gonna go with that All right, there's the band shell and uh, the soar. You can see with the birds and it says soar right there if you can see, even though the sun is back there. Yikes, and it's gonna be hard to find a shaded uh, seat in there, but uh, let's give it a shot anyway.
you've seen this show at all before, that is a gag that they come up with some years back where they, the person is in on it, they're a plant, and then they fall in the water. It's pretty funny. And you see it for the first time, you're like, what the crap? All right, I left the bird show a little bit early because the rodeo starts at 6.30 and it's 6.30 right now, and that's inside the Coliseum right there. Dang, I never seen a rodeo like this. It's all dark. Oh, they're showing a bit of film. Dude, there's plenty of folks. There's more folks on this side. Look at all these people. These people are ready to see. Why is it dark? That's where I like to watch the parade from. And uh, parade will be coming back through, and this time it's gonna be the Starlight Parade. It's different this year. We saw some of the new floats in the uh, noon one, and I just realized I missed the opening day ceremony at six o'clock. Oh my gosh. Oh well, because it's like 6.45 now, so I missed it. But anyway, let's get over here close to Big Tex, and uh, see about seeing the Starlight Parade. Hopefully it'll get a little bit darker. Got about another 15 minutes and we can see the lights on the parade floats. That'll be nice. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to dip in here because this is where traditionally they used to have all the uh, food like um, samples, which is always nice. But uh, you don't get samples so much so these days. You still do, but not like in the 80s. Oh my gosh, you got them every booth. Something, something else. It's crazy. And over time, it's just got less and less kind of thing. Well, let's keep rolling. Sometimes you can get some free ice cream. Let's see if I can find that little... It's like a food truck that's inside of here. It's like they got free chocolate milk in here, but I don't know. It's right there. Free chocolate milk. Heck yeah, give me some. Uh-oh, it looks like it's closed down for the day. Oh, man, I missed it. Big up samples. I don't know. They got boxes up there like they didn't even open today. So we'll come back on another day and see if they have it sorted out. But here is the... Go Texan store. Got all kinds of goodies. Uh, some lovely lights. These are like uh, wooden ornaments for your tree. Hot sauce and popcorn and all kinds of stuff. Chocolate and seasonings. Candles that probably smell like Texas. Salsa. Ladies on pictures and Candles and oh, I said candles, gravy, granules, fruit cake, even oh my gosh, Collins Street Bakery, dude, so much, so much, dude. T-shirts over here, look at that. I got Whataburger. I got all kinds of Texas shirts, dude. Everything you'd want. That's epic. That is epic, bro. Anyway, well, let's go ahead and clear out, and make our way over to look for the for the parade. <laughs> That's the walkway. I was just down, and this way is Big Tex over here. You see me come this way, what? This is like the fourth time today or something. <laughs> Pretty soon the lights will be uh, showing up more like that 
Ferris wheel, it'll be dark and it's gonna look a lot nicer, especially in the midway. When I say the parade starts at 7.15, it does. But wherever you see it from, it won't be at 7.15 unless it's at the very beginning around the way where I showed where the the tent was where they keep the the brake floats. Now it starts 7.15 there, but it takes a while to get around the whole fair. So yeah. So by the time I get over here, it's probably 7.30 by the time it comes by. Ish. We'll see. And Trace Atkins will be playing there pretty soon, and y'all can guarantee that every light in the house will be on. Holy monkey. Yeah, I missed the opening day ceremony. It's still going on. Yeah, I remember it did take you quite a long time to finish. That I was like, by the time it had ended last time, the parade was over there just waiting to come through. Alright, I missed the whole ceremony, but it is pretty long anyway. So I'm going to look for getting myself a snickety snack before I find a spot to sit to watch the uh, Illumination Sensation on the Esplanade. Yeah, that's tough to find a good spot. When I was here the other day watching them put up big tags, I noticed there was some colored, I mean, uh, white sparkly lights, twinkly lights on this tree. And I thought, oh, that's awesome because in my childhood, they used to be on a lot of trees and it was so nice. Turns out it's the only tree. <laughs> There's no others at all. I wish they would put them up. I used to love that when I was a kid. It made the fair look more magical. All right, I did just think of a snack. I don't know if it's here this year, but it's a uh, soft serve. They have chocolate and pineapple or something like Dole Whip. I don't see it. Yeah, some things have changed too much. I don't see that that dessert thing. Hmm. Part of the opening ceremony.
different than the noon one that is opening day only today. Uh, there were there are no marching bands on that one, and some other other ones they, they will have excluded because that's the normal one, just floats. Anyway, now everybody will make a mad dash over here to the Esplanade to find a spot to watch the elimination sensation. I'm thinking it's probably good to watch it from back here because I'll get a pretty good vantage point. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. You'll, you'll see. And here's the Esplanade at night. I think these porticos have lovely lights inside shining in all different, through different like crevices and all sorts. It's really, really pretty. And there's six of them, one representing each of the six flags that's, that have flown over Texas at some point or another. Let's see if it's the same as it has been in previous years. It's been way, way better in previous years, but lately, yeah, it's not been the best lately. Here's the shot from way back here at the other end of the Esplanade. sensation is over it is 8 20 so about 20 minutes show and, and then uh so pretty much everything closes at nine like uh over in the in the non midway section so the non midway parts but midway open stays open until 10. i don't know if that changes on saturday or sunday but here we are friday and there's what the whole estate building looks like at night with uh, all the lights on it pretty nice and just to the left on that stage right there, the Chevy main stage. That's where Trace Atkins is about to do his thing. And every night it's somebody different and there are other stages, smaller stages where you can find some other talents and stuff. But so there's, dude, so much, so many shows. It's the same for the whole run of the fair. So just go online and look at the schedule and see who's, who's going to be at a particular night and then come that night, you know. Listen, so we can't stay away no matter who's playing. <laughs> There's plenty of folks walking around here, but holy moly, in there where that concert's about to go on, wowzers, look at all those folks. from the concert, most everybody will be back there. It looks really nice here at night with the lights going and stuff. Remember when they used to actually put animals in those things when you, you go buy different birds and things? Alright, there's the Midway Arch. When I was going on about it earlier, it, it's on the other side where it has some writing on it. So, you probably, it's, but it makes sense. I've always remembered it that you can see these lights from both sides, but maybe I just remember wrong. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. That thing's been around forever. Even in the 1962 State Fair movie, uh, you can see it. It's been around a while, man. I didn't even see this before, but up under the uh, cotton ball, they got a massive thing with the uh, theme this year. All the foods and stuff. So yeah, the, the, like, the pin that we have here and the... Uh, the map that shows the stuff it won't it won't have all this stuff on it so there you go that's pretty cool man a cheeseburger just sounds good right now doesn't it you know it does it does to me a big old fat cheeseburger the worst part about it is the bun i just but i've already ruined it i could just go ahead and eat the bread not that i even want to i've never been a fan of bread anyway dang look at that you got some big old fat cheeseburgers Dang, dude, slap that cheese on there. Look at all them turkey legs. Such a stick. They got everything, and they got all of it, too. And there's the uh, the well-known Midway sign, dude. That thing is from my childhood right there. Beautiful. All right, and it is the arch that invites you into the Midway. So let's go in here and check it out at night with all the beautiful lights. Let's go. Man, all that food smells good. I don't know. I can't even decide what to get, what to eat.
We got the fun, fun, fun houses over here. The Wacky Shack. Come on down to the Wacky Shack and get wacky in the shack with SpongeBob. You can come over here and eat Stiffer's Mom's Cookie. How about that, right? You know you want to come eat Stiffer's Mom's Cookie. Come on. Dude, that's funny. We're here by the uh, Cuptex Tower. And they got a crazy house over here. There's part of the wacky shack right there. What do they call this? I don't even know. There's a dude. What the heck is going on up here, man? There's a dude peeping in the dressing room. Look at him. But he's like a, a dummy. Hey, dummy. Look, that's a weird joint right there, man. Found in another official merchandise. This one's better. It, it, look at that. The Big Tex Mercantile officially licensed merchandise. That's pretty cool. And this one you can actually walk into, so it's nice. Instead of just standing there telling people, hey, give me this thing, give me that thing. So that's pretty cool. The birthday is really neat, but I don't know, man. I like that one there, the one in red, but I want it in blue. And like I said before, if you want it in blue, the only way you'll get it is a small for kids. Oh, well. I just found my hat up there in the middle on the top. That's the one that I've got. It's $35. Did I pay $35 for that hat? Am I stupid? We've already established many, many times that yes, I am. <laughs> Sorry, I've got you down so low. I've got y'all on a cord on my charger because you're at 33%. Sorry, after all day long, y'all, you're losing energy. Y'all need to rest. Here's a Texas lottery booth. What do they got over here? Selling tickets and all that kind of thing. So how many of y'all are still with me? Who's still here? Put in the comments. I'm still here. It's in the nighttime section and I've stayed with you all day long. I'm still here. Thank you. You're the real savage. All right. So we're, we're making our way through. Let's go through and see what kind of foods and rides they got. Lots of these um, fun house type things. There's another. Oh, this one's a haunted house. Dang. That one's all scary like. It's just one of those ride throughs. You go through, it's scarier on the outside than it is on the end. You go in and there's like one or two, three, maybe four, I don't know, jump scares or lights come on and it shows a creature or something. Yeah, you got some all kinds of foods over here. Some kind of, so you binge on the food and you throw it up on the ride. Oh man, wow, look at that. It's like spinnaker, but slow and high. Dude, nope, none for me, man. We got loads of donuts over here. Big old donut thing, man. I kind of do want something sweet, but not donuts. No churros. Chicken pita sounds pretty good. Ooh. Hold on. I might have just found my thing. Oh, shoot. Classic hero. Heck yeah. Greek style. Greek, man. They got this thing here, which is like a baby skyscraper or something. Let's see if somebody can win. I think we got one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Make it. Oh, yes. There we go. Dang. You get to choose one of those. Heck yeah. That's all right right there. Good job, man. That's a happy little girl. Thanks, Dad. That's a whole lot of meat, man. Look at that. Dang, bro. Turkey legs everywhere. Cheeseburgers. Oh, my gosh. Juicy burgers as well. They put the name Juicy to make you want one. It worked. I want one. There's the... Um, Scraper that me and cheese like is way too expensive. I got a slingshot too. There's the official Fletchers. Well, one of them, the most extravagant official Fletchers. Cool. Dude, I think this goes all the way upside down. Air Max. Max would be. Oh, he's finishing up. Uh oh. Somebody's getting a slingshot ride. Dude. I want to see that go. I mean, I've been on it and stuff, but let's we'll see how much it costs this year. Yeah, skyscraper. I can't see. It's going 35 per person. Whoa, bro. Wow. That is a good ride. But $70 together for two people? Nope. Let's say a discount you want. Two people, 70. Well, yeah, they don't even discount yet. And I had people saw my video of that and they were like, I can't believe you rode that. I'm like, and it's not scary. The scariest part is the price. Ain't no way in the world I'll be riding that thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, a giant ice cream. Dang, bro. It does have crazy lights, but oh, closed for maintenance. Uh-oh, somebody lost their My Little Pony. That's no good. 
they got a crazy mouse over here that's called crazy mouse <laughs> they got an iron dragon over there just one car with four people oh wow it's called cliffhanger it's funny that even the it said fiesta texas the Di dr diabolical's cliffhanger the dive coaster it's called Cliffhanger because I'm used to Cliffhanger being the ride uh, that's like, they used to be at Six Flags Over Texas, it was the Cliffhanger, it was like a free fall type of a deal. Welcome to Carousel Park, and look, there's an actual carousel. Green toss, do that thing. Let's see if anybody's winning. It's such a scary place and it's five minutes after six. Shouldn't it be after midnight or something? Win! Oh, somebody got a red! Somebody just won, so they're ringing that bell big time. Big time so you'll come over and play. And here's all the kitty stuff. All the kitty rides. God, I remember those when I was a kid, man. It's probably the exact same ones right there. These have buttons on them that you need to go eh, eh, eh. I don't know if they still do, but yeah, we thought we were doing something by pushing that button and making that stupid noise. Helix, huh? Alright. I used to love this thing, but they ruined it. It used to be called like illusion something or another. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of something like that though. And looky here, got old classic bumper cars. Okay, go, do you think? Oh dude, look at the lights on the cars, I like it. Bump them! Bump the absolute crap out of them! Boom! You asked for it. Oh my gosh, the flip of chicken. You hammered the chicken thing catapulted into the uh, pot. Try to anyway. Wow. Check it out. Do it. This guy's got one over here. Here we go. Here he goes. Hit it. He's trying to time it just right. Oh, bro. Oh, dude. So close. Here's another ring toss. Nobody winning. What do we got here? We'll pop a balloon. All kids win a prize. Yeah, but they're not even ones paint. They got these giant corny dog stuff things I've never seen before. Pretty cool. Oh man, Raymond noodles. Snow cones, all sorts. Dude, I love it. Oh yeah, the machine gun. You gotta cut the whole star out. And not leave one piece at all. I understand nobody almost never wins. That's why these prizes are so major. Nobody ever wins. Because they'll always find... Oh, there's still a little piece of bread right there. Every single one. They'll go, no, see that right there? Oh my gosh, ski ball. Dude, I love ski ball. I haven't done that in forever, but yeah, the problem is here, you gotta buy a game card in order to play any games. And that's annoying to me. All right, we're actually getting to back over here to uh, the uh, Cotton Bowl. Yes, Cotton Bowl Plaza with the lagoon that way. There's a lovely shot with the uh, lights on at night, Cotton Bowl. Pretty nice. Dude, they got a beer barn over here. Look at that. Beer barn. So they got a buffalo chicken and a flapjack. Wow. In a, in a pancake, dude? This is looking back toward the uh, lagoon. These lights over here are putting on quite a show, if you can see. And hanging in the trees. They're kind of these cylinders hanging out of the trees and they, they're choreographed or something. Dude, it's pretty cool. Zero gravity is the old school. It's like Roundup from my childhood. And the pirate ship is not swinging right now. The pirates aren't doing their thing, dude. Love bugs, which is like the old Himalayan. Yes. And another fun house. All right, that was the midway that, to finish it all up. That means it's time to go. And I appreciate you having a look, coming along and with me and uh, let me show you the fair. I showed you the real fair. We been, ended up at the, at the midway, but only ended up there because the real fair was before that. All the exhibits and shows. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, comment, 
positive comments I try to respond to and give me a thumbs up. You don't know how much it helps the channel. All that stuff helps the channel so much. But if you want to help even more, there are people that are Patreons. Just look in the description and for the Patreon link and click it and uh, three or five bucks and uh, you'll get some behind the scenes videos, bonus, other bonus videos, and your name at the end right here. I'm about to show all the names of the people who are supporting me. Thanks to all of y'all. Appreciate it. But I appreciate every one of you. And uh, time to go. See y'all later. And y'all stay savage.